And I'm now looking at something I've been trying to do for many years called systems of care. You see, if we ask simple questions like, is asthma care better in Somerset or Devon, we don't know. What we've done is we've developed care on the basis of institutions, acute and community. Two box healthcare, I called it many years ago, primary and secondary. But actually, that's not the way things work. It's like a Russian doll. Self-care is the most important type of health care. Informal care by friends and family and volunteers. Generalist care, specialist care, and sometimes super specialist care. Now for broken legs, that works all right. If I get run over outside here, I don't need a good GP or the right health beliefs. I'll get to the right place. Cancer usually gets to the right place sooner or later. But dizziness or headache or pelvic pain, or heart failure, or asthma, it's all over the place in almost every country in the world. It's like Brownian motion, the random movement of patients, professionals, blood samples, and bits of paper. So what do we, we need a system. A system is a set of activities with a common set of objectives and an annual report. How many asthma systems should there be for Manchester? Maybe 10 or 12. But you probably have fewer systems for epilepsy because you want super specialist assessment for some children. So you might have two, or I don't know. The system is delivered by a network. A network is a set of organizations and individuals that deliver the system. Generalists, specialists, patient organizations working together like an ant colony, what we call a complex adaptive system. Not competing with one another and trying to do each other down but working together. And then pathways are the routes that patients follow through the network. System, network, pathway. In the work I do, uh, well, the time I've been with a group of clinicians, about 20 minutes, I say, right, let's ban the use of the words primary, secondary, acute, community, outpatient, hub and spoke, banned. 20th and 19th century words. The new words are system, network, pathway. And for each system, we want to know the objectives, the criteria, the standards, and that has to be written up in an annual report. If you don't have an annual report, you don't have a system. And partly, of course, because of, of this, we're in the system century. We're in the network century. So in the 20th century, we had hierarchies and bureaucracies. In the 21st century, we have networks running systems. So. This, this is the revolution. The next healthcare revolution will come out of the barrel of the smartphone.